Ainsley Allen and Kiana Point join us now in studio. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, Ainsley, I want to begin with you. Uh, you know, what does it mean for you to take part in these Indigenous Games? Well, for me, it's such a big honour to be a part of these Games and to be making history, being the first female team um, here in Toronto or ever. And I think it's just such an honour to be here. Mm -hmm. And for you, uh, Kiana, I'm wondering, perhaps you can explain to people, is there any difference between female and male lacrosse? Um, yeah, I would say that male is like a lot, like it's a lot more contact for sure. Mm -hmm. And so for female, it's, it's more just kind of like, I guess, throwing the ball around and like moving, like the, like the so movement. So a bit more technique, a bit yeah, more speed. Yeah, a little speed. bit more technique, I would say. But um, yeah, I, I think female lacrosse is a little bit more groomed than male. For sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I have to say, lacrosse is a fast-moving sport, so it if there's more speed and there's more technique on the female side, that's going to be something to watch once your competitions begin. And I think the first one is Monday morning, right? Yes. Okay. But I also want to bring in here a quote, and this is from an elder in BC who had this to say about lacrosse. And I think he actually said it to your team. He said, when you pick up your stick, you pick up history. When you hear that, Ainsley, what mm -hmm. does that mean to you? I just think it's so important how the Indigenous people were first ones to pick up the stick and be the ones to create the game. That is so close to my heart and it's just so important to me that it's just so important to me. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and for you, Kiana? Um, for me, it, it definitely feels like an honour because my, um, a lot of my like um, elders have played lacrosse and so to be able to play lacrosse as well it's like we definitely are picking up a piece of history for sure. Mm -hmm. And you know this is a game that was started here in Canada by the Indigenous peoples. Yeah. It is Canada's national sport. It, people yeah. always refer, refer to hockey but yeah. really is lacrosse. You guys are uh, mm -hmm. the tradition of this country but also tradition mm -hmm. of your nations. And to that Kiana I want to talk about your community because my understanding is there's, there's what there's only nine people uh, yeah. As a member of your community, but how many lacrosse players? Just me. Well, I guess not just me, but uh, female-wise, um, my older brother, and that's that's about it. Oh, so you're so you're carrying it, your the history and the tradition in this one family for your whole community. What's yeah. that like? Um, it's that's an honor for sure. Like it's my both like my both of my brothers and my dad have played as well, but like for me to keep carrying it on is like. It's good, mm -hmm. and like um, I'm trying to like pass it down to my niece and nephew as well. So family <laughs> tradition. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, very nice. So again, your first match is Monday morning. Uh, any predictions at all, Ainsley? Um, so we're playing Ontario, which is going to be a tough game for us. They're probably going to come out strong. Yeah. And we're just going to put our best foot forward and hope for the best. You guys have been practicing since you got here, right? Yes. Yeah. Nonstop. So even off like out of the arena, we've been outside yeah. with our sticks throwing it around in our free mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. right up until our curfew. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is curfew? Yeah, uh, it's 10. 10. Uh, do you get to break it tonight for the opening ceremonies? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> but that's one exception. <laughs> yeah. So one exception is the opening ceremonies, uh, yeah. but then afterwards you'll go to bed and get ready for your match. Guys, thank, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. Best of luck in the competition. Thank, thank you. you.